First method I like to call is a list and a count. Uh, so this method also could be uh, so very useful. Uh, so particular, if you feel uh, this is an easy problem, we have only a few answers. Uh, so definitely, uh, you want to try a list and a count. Uh, so I will give you a quick example. Uh, so for example, by rearranging, uh, so by rearranging those uh, three digits, uh, we'll try to create. Uh, so how many uh, even number? Try to figure out how many even number. So if it's an even number, that means what? Last number uh, could it be uh, so could it be zero or could it be four only? Uh, so if it's zero, of course, could it be uh, so one four or four one and followed by zero. Uh, so how about last is equals of uh, four? Uh, so because zero cannot be in the first place, that means what? We can only have one zero. That is all a uh, possible answer for this problem. It's very clear you want to solve this problem by least and count. Uh, you see my point, right? Uh, so if you try to solve this one by a uh, principle of addition and multiplication, definitely you end up with more complicated than this a uh, simple least and count. The next uh, super super powerful tool we have learned is called uh, the principle, uh, the principle of multiplication. Uh, so this one definitely is uh, one of the super super important tool. Uh, so when you solve counting problems. The key word uh, for this one is a uh, multi-step. If you feel, oh, this is a uh, nothing but multi-step problem, so definitely you need to try to use a principle uh, of multiplication. Uh, to do something, you need a few steps. Uh, so of course, you need to quickly figure out each step has how many ways and multiply everything together. That is, uh, that is our answer uh, to finish the total job. Uh, so it could be very powerful. Uh, so I'm going to use a few examples to help you understand how to solve a uh, by a uh, principle uh, multiplication. Uh, so sigma we have uh, we have four digit. Uh, so one, two, three, and four. Uh, so I want to create three digit number without repetition. Uh, without repetition. Clearly this is a multi-step problem because what? Well, as you imagine, you want to create a three digit number. You want to write the hundreds digit first, and then followed by tens, and then followed by ones. It's very clear. This is a step a step problem. If you just write down the hundreds digit, the job is not done yet. Uh, so definitely that tells us this is a step. If you realize this is a step problem, of course, our first step, we quickly figure out how many ways in the first step, it's very clear. We can put everything there, which gives us four ways. Uh, so next one, without repetition, that means what? One digit is gone. We cannot use uh, the digit you place uh, in the hundredth place. Now we have only three left. Of course, uh, si similarly, we have uh, two ways in the third step. Uh, so that is how to figure this problem. How about this time I change a little bit? Uh, so using one, two, three, four, still create a three-digit number, but this time with a repetition, with a repetition. Uh, so let's see. Uh, so first step, still, uh, still could be uh, so four ways. Uh, we can put everything there in the hundreds, uh, in the hundreds place. Of course, after you're done here, uh, so next step, still we can use everything. That's why still four ways. Uh, last step is still four ways. Multiply together. That is total number of way to write a three-digit number with a repetition. Uh, so I'm going to set up another different problem. Uh, so how about this time I want to uh, put a zero there, uh, so sigma, uh, so using zero, one, two, three, uh, to create a three-digit number without repetition, uh, without repetition. Let's see how many, uh, so how many, uh, so three digit without repetition are possible. Of course, we cannot uh, put a zero in the first place. That means where we can put one, two, three only. That means what? Well, first step, we have a uh, three width. So you might feel if the first step is three ways, our next step should be two ways. Actually, you are wrong. Uh, so because one digit is gone, uh, so whatever you put here, uh, we cannot use this anymore. But in the second step, that is gone, but a zero, uh, we can use a zero. Uh, so sigma, this is a substitute uh, for this step. One digit is gone, now of course we can use a zero. That means what? Well, still we have three ways. Uh, so last step is uh, two ways. So how about using zero, one, two, and uh, three, uh, create a three digit number with a repetition, uh, with a repetition. Let's see how many, uh, so how many three digits are possible? Clearly, first step, uh, so we have a three ways uh, because we cannot use a zero. We can put one, two, three there. That give us three ways. A second step, basically what? Uh, so we can use everything here because this is a ways a repetition problem. That give us four ways, uh, same thing and a last step. That give us another four ways. Multiply together, that is our total number of ways. As you might feel, uh, so, uh, we didn't use uh, this principle uh, a lot. 
Uh, so actually, is what actually this is could be uh, very very powerful. Uh, so principle of a desert. Uh, so if you feel, uh, so in order to solve this problem, I have a, a few options. So for example, you want to go from Austin to Houston, you have a different options. You can, you can drive there or you can uh, fly over there. Uh, so if you feel this is a different option problem, uh, so you need sigma principle of addition, uh, so which is end up with a casework problem. Uh, so because what? If you choose uh, one option, you can still get a job done. Uh, so think about you want to fly, of course, you can still go to Houston. Uh, you can drive, you can still go to Houston. So that's why, that, that's the other one. Uh, so we have different options to do the same job. Uh, that tells us, this is a casework problem. You want to apply principle of distance to finish uh, the problem. So let's see, use a uh, zero, a uh, one, two, a uh, three, a uh, four. Uh, those five digits, uh, let's try to create three digits, uh, so even number. Let's see how many, uh, so how many ways are possible. Uh, so first one, uh, so probably see three digit even number. Uh, so that tells us what? Of course, if you put a zero, uh, that is one opposite. If you put a two here, that is another opposite. If you put a four here, that is another opposite. So definitely something, something two, uh, something, something zero, or something, something four. They all even numbers. That tells us what? Uh, we have different options to finish this problem. If you feel uh, this is a different option problem, uh, so this is nothing but a uh, so principle of addition, which are the case work. Let's start with case work. Uh, so first case is, of course, could be something, something adds with a zero. Uh, so next case, case work is, could be something, something adds with a two. Uh, so last one is, could be something, something adds with a four. Uh, so we start with only three case work here. So now, uh, for each one is nothing but a uh, easier, a uh, smaller, uh, so counting problem. By the way, this is uh, without, uh, so without a uh, so without a repetition. So think about this as a without repetition. Something, something zero. Uh, so of course, now it's nothing but using one, two, three, uh, four uh, to write down. Uh, so those uh, two places here. Uh, so clear at this point, this is a multi-step problem. Uh, so first step, we have four ways. Uh, second step, we have three ways. Uh, that give us, uh, that give us three ways uh, in, the first, uh, so in the first uh, case work. Continue, uh, so uh, think about this one. Now, of course, uh, two A is gone. We can use zero, one, as three, and four. Uh, so very clear, zero cannot be here, two cannot be here. That means what? we have three ways in the first step. Uh, so second step actually is still three because one number A is gone. But now we can use a zero. Uh, so that gives us what? Still three ways. Multiply together, that gives us nine. Uh, so second case and a third case clearly give us the same number of answers. Uh, because uh, for this problem, there's really no difference between two and four. So that means what? This is definitely is another nine. Uh, so ending together, ending together, that should be our final answer. Make sure you understand this is a uh, this. Because what? This is a one possible answer, possible answer, possible answer. This, this is, we have three case work. When you see the case, case work, uh, you need to add everything up. Uh, so basically, two plus nine plus nine, we end up with answer A is a 30. That is answer for this one. Uh, so make sure you fully understand everything I talk about here. When I see permutation here is a very standard permutation problem. So I will put out the four uh, criteria uh, here if you understand. Uh, so what is our standard uh, so permutation problem? Uh, so first one, in order to be a standard permutation uh, problem, uh, so object must be different. Uh, object must be mutually different. Uh, so base one, uh, so all objects are mutually different. No two are same. Uh, that is our first criteria. Uh, so next one is a uh, without repetition. Uh, so basically means one. If you slack one, you cannot slack that one at the same time again. Uh, so that that is very understand. Uh, so next one is a uh, without a restriction. That's what that means. So that means uh, so if you want to do any selection, you can select any one. Uh, so no one can be uh, ruled out. Uh, so which is no uh, constriction. Uh, last one is super super important. It's called order matters. That is a very very important feature uh, for the uh, for the permutation. I will use a very simple example uh, here to understand. Uh, so see, we have ten students. Uh, so they have a race. They try to figure out in how many ways uh, they can finish uh, so the first uh, three places. Uh, so for example, this is the first place, uh, this is the second one, and this is a third one. Let's see how to solve this problem. Of course, for this problem, definitely you can solve by the principle of multiplication uh, because uh, finish on the first three, definitely this is a multi-step problem. We know the answer must be 10 times 9 times uh, 8. 
Uh, so, but let's try to solve this problem by a different method. Clearly, all the students are mutually different. Uh, so clearly, this is a without a repetition problem. Because what? If you put a one person in the first place, there's no way that a person at the second place at the same time. So that means what? This is a without repetition. Uh, so next one, without restriction. Of course, anybody could be in the first place. So definitely, uh, this is without re uh, any uh, restriction. So all the matters, of course, all the matters. Everything point out, this is our, uh, our standard permutation problem. That means answer is uh, 10 permutation as three. Uh, so 10 P is three, that, uh, that is answer for here. But next one is, but how to how to evaluate? That is another uh, so big question. You need, of course, of, once you figure out this is a permutation problem, you need to know uh, so how to evaluate this one. I talked about two uh, super, super common method. Uh, so the first one, you can use uh, my method. Actually, when I see the permutation problem, I always use the first method. Uh, so basically, this study with this number, and it go down, go down until you see three numbers and not until you see number three you see three numbers uh, so of course it's very clear and nothing but 10 times 9 and times 8 uh, so we have another one it's a very standard uh, so we have a formula we have formula uh, for this one in, in general if you see npm as uh, so what is npm and nothing but n factorial and it divided by n minus m of factorial uh, so factorial is nothing but starting from that number and it go down until you go to one and then multiply everything together so for example three factorial is nothing but three and multiply two and multiply one is the six but a very special situation is a zero factorial. Uh, so zero factorial is defined to be one. At this point, just remember, a zero factorial must be defined to be one. Otherwise, there's something wrong with a lot of formulas. So if you get here, of course, you can use uh, those formula. You can quickly figure out this one is, uh, there's a 10 P3 is a nothing but, uh, so 10 factorial, and it divided by several factorial. I've actually, we do simplify a nothing but this one. Anyway, as remember, uh, so how to evaluate the permutation. Uh, so next, a uh, super, super powerful tool is called uh, combination. It's called combination. Uh, so for a standard combination problem, actually there's only one difference uh, from uh, the permutation is order doesn't matter uh, for a combination problem. Uh, so everything else is the same. Uh, so again, uh, so object are mutually different. Object must be mutually different. Uh, no uh, repetition allowed. Uh, so there's, there's no any uh, restriction. Uh, but always keep in mind the major feature as well. Order doesn't matter. Uh, so we don't care about order at all. Uh, so think about we have 10 uh, students. This time, I want to slag uh, three of them. Uh, so I don't care about order. Uh, so they try to figure out how many ways are uh, possible. In this case, it's very clear. It says a standard combination problem. So they give us answer is 10 uh, C3. Uh, so remember, once you identify this as a combination problem, we have total 10 students. Of course, we do the combination. We want a slag a three. Uh, they give us 10 C3. Next big question is how to evaluate this one. How to evaluate a 10 C3. So I talk about two methods. I talk about two methods. Uh, so first one is, uh, so you can evaluate this one uh, so by my way, uh, space one. Uh, 10 C3 is uh, nothing but 10 P3. You evaluate a P first, and it divided by this number factorial. That gives us uh, how to evaluate the C. Uh, so actually, is, there is another uh, so super super common formula. Uh, so you need uh, so uh, so you need uh, you need know. Uh, so for the C, we have a, a formula as uh, for any uh, two number n C uh, n C m. Let's see the formula give us what a is uh, n factorial and it divided by different factorial and it divided by this number factorial. Uh, so look at here, this part A is our P, of course, divided by M factorial, so definitely the same as uh, my formula there. Anyway, uh, so you need to uh, fully understand this one. For example, uh, this one, uh, so if one use formula, it's nothing but 10 C3, A is uh, 10 factorial, and it divided by 7 factorial, and it divided by 3 factorial. Definitely, is you need to understand, uh, so fully understand uh, the following uh, examples uh, could be very, very useful. So how about, let's use uh, some typical uh, numbers, uh, that is, 
easy to understand. So this why five or C five. So five C five, the answer must be equals one. Uh, so because what? Because we have five people, we want to select all those five. I don't care about order. It's very clear. We have only one way. Plug in the formula, we end up with five factorial and then divided by zero factorial and then divided by five factorial. In order to get this one, we need to define zero factorial equals one. Uh, that is reason why we have to define zero factorial equals one. Otherwise, this formula totally wrong. Next example. Uh, so how about uh, so evaluate five C two and five C three? Actually, it's, it's very clear they are equal. Uh, so based on this formula, you can clearly see they must be equal. So because what five C two is nothing but five factorial divided by uh, so three factorial and then divided by two factorial. This one is a five factorial divided by two factorial three factorial. Of course, they are exactly the same. Uh, so in general, if those two numbers add together equal the first one, they have same C. For example, 100 C 80 is equals 100 C 20. Uh, so make sure you understand those one. Next one is about a zero. Uh, for example, 5 C zero is equals one. Uh, that is very understand. Uh, so from here, you can also give this answer must be equals uh, zero. Because what? Well, five plus a zero equals five. That's why five C five must be equals five C zero. Another C about zero, which sort of five P zero, of course, this equals a uh, one. Uh, so simply because, uh, so this formula, you can clearly see, uh, so five C zero is five P zero and it divided by zero factorial so definitely this equals a zero another c is zero factorial definitely equals one we have to define zero factor equals one uh, so next one definitely i want to put down a very interesting formula uh, which is for example a uh, 5c0 uh, plus 5c1 and uh, plus all the way to 5c5 is nothing but 2 to the fifth power uh, so I will explain a little bit uh, later on how to understand this formula. But at this point, just accept this sort of formula. So in general, if you have nc0 plus nc1 and plus nc2 all the way to ncn, the answer is 2 to n's power, 2 to n's power. Uh, so make sure you understand everything uh, covered here. Generalized, uh, so generalized, uh, so permutation, uh, so permu uh, permutations add uh, the combination problem, add a combination, a combination problem. I have six letters, uh, A, A, B, 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 and C. I want to rearrange all of those uh, six letters. Uh, so you hear right, I need to use all letters. Uh, so how many different words can we create? Uh, so if you see this situation, this is our generalized permutation combination problem. The answer is uh, pretty easy uh, to, uh, to figure out. So total, we have six objects that give us a uh, six factorial. Uh, so next one, whatever see identical, uh, so you need to divide by that identical number factorial. So look at here. Uh, so I have two identical A, we need to divide by two factorial. We have three identical B, we need to divide by three factorial. Uh, so of course, that is answer for this problem. Uh, so make sure you understand this are uh, so 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 typical problem because what well, so you, as you mentioned uh, so the flipping coins problem uh, so it actually is at some point end up with uh, a generalized permutation combination problem uh, so another thing a uh, short is past problem is nothing but a generalized permutation combination problem uh, so definitely understand this is a standard problem uh, so last powerful tool is complementary counting uh, so the idea is very easy uh, so sigma you try to figure out something you feel uh, there are so 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 many right answers Answer, but we have only a few uh, wrong answer. If you see that situation, definitely you want to try to figure out total and the minus the wrong answer that give us the right answer. Another thing I want to point out as in the future, if you see at least one, if you see at least one, that is a strong signal. Uh, so you want to try complementary counting because what? Well, if you see at least one, that give us one. The wrong side is what? There's no. There's no. One, there's no one. Uh, so definitely no one is uh, so much much easier uh, than at least one. Uh, so make sure you understand all those tools. Uh, so today I'm going to quickly talk about a few uh, so very very typical uh, counting problems. Uh, so think about if you know those typical uh, so counting problems. If you see something new, you try to make some connection and try to solve the new problem. Uh, so using the old problem, typical problem as a reference, help you understand the new problem. Uh, so that's why the typical counting problems are so 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 important. Uh, so try to fully understand. Uh, so first one, I like to call this a uh, forming a uh, committee problems. Uh, so definitely is unique understand uh, so this a uh, typical problem uh, so it is called a uh, forming a uh, 
uh, committee problem. Uh, so forming a uh, committee problem. So try to fully understand. Uh, so uh, so how this works. Uh, so imagine in a group. Uh, so we have uh, five boys. Uh, so we have five boys, uh, six uh, girls, uh, five boys and six girls. Uh, so I'm going to base that here and try to put down a uh, four super super. Uh, so typical counting problem you need. Uh, so understand. Uh, so first typical problem in this one, we want to select uh, five uh, people, including uh, three boys, uh, two girls. Let's see how many ways are possible. Uh, so definitely you need to fully understand this is a typical problem. Uh, so let's see. Uh, so five people, including uh, so three boys and two girls. It's very clear. Uh, so we can see by this is not simple, a multi-step process. Uh, so first step, we need to select three boys from five boys. Uh, so next step, we need to select two girls and form a six girl. Uh, so for each step, it's very clear and not simple, our standard uh, combination problem. Uh, so because what we want to select, uh, so some number of object from uh, so some different object where order doesn't matter. Of course, clearly uh, without repetition, without any constriction. Uh, so first step, not simple, select three boys uh, from five boys. It's not simple, a uh, standard uh, so combination problem that given us about a five or C three. And the second step in Nasiba, six and a C2. Of course, we know it's a multi step. That's why we need a uh, so multiply uh, so those numbers together. Of course, you can evaluate a five a C3 and a six C2. Of course, multiply together. That is answer for this one. Uh, so make sure definitely answer this one. Uh, so next one. Uh, so how about uh, so we want to select five people, including at least uh, three uh, girls. Let's see. Uh, so next uh, typical problem is uh, definitely you need answer. Uh, so how about uh, select uh, five uh, people? Uh, five people. Including, uh, so including at least at least uh, three girls. Let's see how many ways are possible. Uh, so for this problem, uh, so the phrase, uh, so you need to think about at least three girls. Do we know exactly uh, so how many girls are selected? No. Could it be one? Could it be three? Uh, could it be four? Uh, could it be five? Because what? At least three. Of course, total we have five. That means what? Uh, so could it be any number from three uh, to five? Uh, so any number is okay. That clearly give us what? This is not simple. Uh, uh, so principle of addition. Uh, so problem. Uh, so we need to think about the case work. That is idea how to solve this one. Uh, so clearly we have a three case work. Uh, so first one is what? Is exactly as uh, three girls. As uh, three girls. That means what? Definitely imply uh, two boys are selected. Of course, another case where it's not simple. Uh, so four girls. Then imply uh, one boy is uh, selected. Of course, another one is uh, five girls. Then imply zero boy uh, is uh, selected. Uh, so, so sigma, you divide this problem into three uh, so casework here. Now, each casework a not simple, our standard problem one. Uh, so because what? We know how many boys, uh, how many girls exactly are uh, selected. That's why definitely we can figure out. So for this one, not of course, a five C2 multiplies a six or C3. Uh, so here, a not simple, a five a C2 uh, multiplies with a six a C3. Uh, for this one, uh, for this case, it's very clear. Not simple, five C1 uh, multiplies with a six C4. Uh, for this one, not simple, a five a C0 uh, multiplies with a six a C5. Because this is what? This is a casework, casework, a casework problem. Of course, after you figure answer for each casework, we need to add everything up. Uh, so make sure you add everything up. Of course, some is our answer for this one. Uh, so make sure you uh, so fully understand uh, so, uh, so this problem. Let's see. Uh, so next, a uh, super, super, uh, so typical problem is, uh, so sigma will in this time, uh, we want to slag uh, five people. Uh, so five people. We don't care how many boys or uh, how many girls in there. Uh, so definitely you can think about this one, not simple. You can do the case work. Uh, so for example, uh, so from zero, uh, so zero boy, and uh, one boy, two boys, three boy, four boy, and uh, five boys. Uh, so definitely you can do the case work six times. Uh, so figure out uh, so the answer for each case work add together is not simple, our final answer. Definitely this is not the best answer for this problem. Uh, so in the future, whenever see this uh, this uh, this situation, uh, so definitely you want to combine uh, so five boys and six girls together because what boys and uh, girls they are nothing but people. Of course, we can quickly combine this and nothing but give us what this and nothing but give us eleven. Uh, this this nothing but give us eleven. Uh, so eleven people, eleven people. Uh, so now of course we want to select five people from eleven. Uh, so clearly we don't care about order. This is nothing but a standard a combination problem that give us a. Nasiba 11 uh, C5. Uh, so that is answer uh, for this one. 
Uh, so next one, I'm going to quickly put down. Uh, so another, uh, so another one. Uh, definitely, you need to understand this one. Uh, so how about this time? I want to select five people. I want to include at least, uh, at least uh, one girl. Uh, so think about this one. Uh, so select, uh, so five. Uh, so select uh, five people. Uh, select five people. Uh, so including, uh, so including, uh, including at least, uh, at least, uh, so one. At least as uh, so one girl. Let's see how to solve this one. Uh, so in order to solve this one in a smarter way, that place you need to identify this word. At least one. At least one. Uh, so in the future, whatever you see at least one. Uh, so that place you need to consider. Can I solve this problem by complementary counting? Because what well, at least one, the wrong side is not simple. There are no others. Uh, no. Uh, so no one. No one. Uh, so see what we have here is right answer is at least one. Of course, could it be one girl? Two girls, three girls, four girls, and five girls. But a wrong answer is not but there is no girls there. So the phrase a right answer have five case work, but a wrong answer had only one case. The phrase you need to think about complementary counting. So I'm going to solve this one by complementary counting. Of course, we can easily figure total and not about this problem. Of course, that give us about eleven C five, eleven C five. And in minus wrong answer, wrong answer and not about the other side of this condition could it. There's no girl. Uh, so Sigma, all five people are boys. Uh, so there's a Nasiba uh, five select five boys are uh, zero girls. How many ways? And Nasiba five C five multiple is a uh, six a uh, C zero. That is our wrong answer. Of course, we need to subtract that one. Then give Nasiba five a uh, C five multiple ways a uh, six a uh, C zero. Of course, there's a wrong answer. There's a total. Of course, do the subtraction. That give an answer for this one. Flipping uh, so coins problem. Uh, so try to fully understand. Uh, so I'm going to put out a few typical problems. Uh, so based on those uh, typical problems, I try to understand understand this topic. Uh, so first one, let's try to see a fair coin a flip uh, six times. Let's try to figure uh, so how many possible outcomes are there. Uh, so think about this. Our first typical problem about uh, so flipping coins. Uh, so we have a coin, uh, a fair coin, uh, flipped. Uh, so flip, uh, so flip the uh, six times. Uh, six times. Let's try to figure. Try to figure how many uh, so possible outcomes. Uh, clearly, this is nothing but a multi-step process. Uh, so, uh, so for each step, nothing but flip a coin. Of course, clearly we have two ways uh, for each step: either heads or tail. Uh, so, total number is uh, total number of uh, so total number of outcomes. It's very clear. Nothing but two times two. Of course, time two, a uh, time two, a uh, time two, a uh, time two. Of course, we have six steps. Uh, so, in each step, we have uh, two ways that give an answer. And nothing but two to the uh, six power. Uh, so, make sure. You Fully understand this example. Uh, so next one is so 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 important. Uh, so let's try to figure. Uh, so if flip coin a uh, six times, in how many we are there to flip a uh, two heads exactly? Uh, so that is something uh, definitely is super super important. Uh, so still a uh, a coin a uh, flip a uh, six times. Uh, so six times. Let's try to figure how many ways we can have exactly as uh, so two heads. Uh, so exactly. Uh, so exactly a uh, two heads. Let's see how to solve uh, this one. As you mentioned, you flip a coin a uh, six times, uh, so you will get eight exactly. Uh, so two heads. Uh, so that means what? Definitely, we have uh, two heads and four tails. Uh, so do we know the sequence? Uh, so no. Uh, could it be, for example, uh, so could it be? Uh, so first one is heads, a uh, second one heads, and then follow tail, tail, a uh, tail, a uh, tail. Of course, could it be? Uh, so heads, a uh, tail, heads, a uh, tail, and then tail, a uh, tail. Of course, could it be? Uh, so tail, tail, heads, and then tail, a uh, tail, heads. Of course, uh, you try, you try. After you put out a few, uh, so a few possible outcomes, you can clearly see this problem is not simple, equivalent to what? This problem is not simple, equivalent to. Uh, so if I try to rearrange those of uh, six letters, how many different words can we create? This is not about equivalent one. Uh, so by rearranging, uh, so by rearranging eight eight and t t uh, t t. Uh, so how many different words are possible? Now it's very clear. This is not about a generalized permutation and a combination problem. So clearly, it's not about generalized permutation and combination problem because we have identical object. 
Of course, we want to use all those uh, six objects. Clearly, we care about order. If we do not care order, it's clearly the answer is only one. Uh, so we, now we identify this nothing but a generalized permutation and a combination problem. Uh, we can easily figure answer nothing but, of course, a six factorial. And then divided by, of course, two identical eights. That means what? We need to divide by two uh, factorial. We have four identical t. That means what? We need to divide by a uh, four factorial. Uh, so notice, 2 plus 4 equals 6. That means this answer nothing but equals uh, 62. Of course, you can write this over 6 or uh, C4. But definitely, is you cannot multiply together. This is a total raw answer. Never write uh, this way. Uh, so never write this way. This is a total raw. So, uh, so in general, uh, so if you know the number of uh, total flipping times, you know exactly so how many heads or so how many tails. All you need to do is uh, use total number and see the number of heads all number of tails, you will get the exact same answer. So for this one, of course, you can write this as nothing but 6C2. Of course, you can write this as 6C4 because they are exactly the same. Of course, in general, as we like this number be small. So although the value is exactly the same, of course, so we prefer this answer. So make sure you fully understand. So this is super, super so important typical problem. So next one, of course, let's try to figure out another one. So how about flip or coin? So six times, so basically, uh, so a coin a flipped uh, for uh, six times. Let's try to figure out how many ways we end up with more hands uh, than tail. Uh, so, uh, so we end up with uh, so more hands, uh, so more hands than uh, tails. Let's see how to solve this one. Uh, for this one, do we know how many uh, so heads and tails exactly? Uh, so no. Uh, so all we know is the number of heads is greater than the number of tails. Uh, so of course, uh, clearly, this is nothing but a case work, a principle of um, addition problem. Uh, so clearly, first case is nothing but, of course, we could end up with uh, so four heads, of course, that means uh, two tails. Uh, so next one, of course, could be uh, so five heads, of course, that imply uh, so one tail. Of course, next one is, of course, is nothing but six heads, of course, uh, zero tail. Uh, for each one, uh, so for each case where a nasty power state of power two, uh, so because what we know exactly as uh, so a number of heads or number of uh, tail, all it is a uh, choose a uh, one number. Of course, that give us in this case a nasty power of course a uh, six a uh, c two. Uh, so choose this one or this one. It really doesn't matter. You will end up with the same answer. Uh, so clearly choose a two is better. Of course, this one nasty power six a uh, c one. Again, you can choose a uh, six a uh, c five or six c one. Uh, so they are exactly the same. Uh, so I prefer to uh, choose uh, this number. Of course, it's nothing but uh, 6 and C0. Uh, so finally, you need to add everything up. Of course, some is uh, this uh, answer uh, for this one. Uh, so make sure you fully understand. Uh, so next, uh, so typical example is, uh, so, uh, so imagine we flip a coin, uh, so six times. Uh, so a coin is a flipped is a flipped uh, so for six time let's try to figure out how many ways we end up with at least at least one one hat let's try to figure uh, so at least how many ways we end up with at least uh, one hat let's see how to solve this one uh, so again if you see at least one this is a strong signal you want to try to solve this one by complementary counting uh, so can we figure out a total easily actually total a nothing but this one uh, so can we figure out wrong answer easily? The answer yes, because at least one hat, they imply wrong answer is what? There is no hat. Uh, so six by flip a uh, six time, we end up with all tails. Uh, so of course, that means what? Flip a uh, six time, we know we end up with a uh, six uh, tail zero hat. Exactly, that means what? Definitely we can figure the answer. Uh, so of course, total a nasty about two to the six power, and a minus, uh, so minus a wrong answer. That's a wrong answer, a nasty about, a nasty about. Uh, So the number of way to end up with a six tail, a zero hat. And very clear, nasty about six, a C, a zero. Uh, so first one definitely is you need to understand uh, probability is nothing but the measure of a uh, likeliness of a uh, event uh, will occur. Uh, so you need to understand uh, the basic definition uh, so about the probability. Uh, so probability is nothing but a measure. Uh, so a measure. Uh, so a measure of a uh, likeliness. Uh, so likeliness. Uh, so uh, so of a uh, something uh, so will occur. Uh, so always remember the probability is always between zero and one. If you get a number outside this range, then it's guaranteed you get that uh, wrong. Uh, so always remember the probability. Uh, so uh, the probability as uh, for any as uh, for any problem, it must be greater or equal zero and less equals one. 
And also Dufferin's Union, remember the formula uh, for the probability using counting. The formula is very, very uh, so easy uh, to understand, but Dufferin's Union understand uh, so how to apply this formula uh, to a few different problems. Uh, so probability, uh, the uh, formula gives us nothing but, uh, so bottom one is a uh, total number of equally likely outcomes. Uh, so uh, pay attention to the equally likely. Uh, so based on nothing but, uh, so total number of uh, equally, uh, so equally uh, likely, uh, equally uh, likely, uh, so outcomes. That is our uh, so bottom number. Uh, so how about top number? Top number is not sigma. The number of outcomes meet my condition. Uh, so sigma uh, top is not sigma. Uh, so meet uh, my condition. The number of the number of outcomes. Uh, so meet my condition. Uh, that is formula uh, for the probability using counting. Uh, so definitely you need uh, get yourself uh, familiar with uh, this uh, super super uh, so important formula. Uh, so notice uh, from this formula, it's very clear. Uh, so the probability problem is nothing but two counting problems. Look at here. This is nothing but uh, so one uh, counting problem. This is nothing but another one. Uh, so, uh, so sigma, uh, so if you try to solve the probability using counting, that's why it's nothing, it's nothing but, it's uh, nothing but, uh, so it's nothing but uh, two uh, counting problems, uh, two uh, counting problems. Uh, so what that means? That means if you know how to solve uh, so counting problems, uh, so that means what? You should have no problem with the probability problem. Always remember uh, this uh, super, super uh, so important idea. Uh, so I will quickly give you one example here if you understand uh, so how to uh, so apply this formula uh, to the problem. Uh, so sigma, uh, so we have uh, so nine numbers, uh, so nine numbers, one, uh, two, uh, three, all the way to uh, so nine. So we want to select a number, uh, so add a random, uh, so uh, select a number, uh, so a number, add a random, add random. Let's try to figure out what the probability this number is uh, even. Uh, so this is uh, something, uh, so definitely super, super easy, but here you understand uh, the uh, formula uh, so of the probability. Uh, so in order to figure out the probability, of course, we need to try to figure out two numbers. One is a uh, total number of equally uh, likely outcome. Another one is nothing but uh, so minimum condition. Uh, so total equally like, uh, likely outcome, for this one, it's very clear. If you select a number from nine numbers, of course, could it be what? Could it be one, two, three, all the way to nine? That means what? Definitely we have uh, so nine total outcomes. Uh, clearly, they all equally likely. As uh, so one is a minimum condition, it's very clear. Uh, we try to figure uh, the number is uh, even. A uh, number is even. Uh, so clearly, that's about uh, two, four, six, eight. We have four numbers a uh, minimum condition. In total, we have nine equally likely outcomes. That means what? Uh, the probability that's about equals what? Four over nine. That is answer uh, for this one. Uh, so make sure you fully understand this uh, super super simple example. Uh, that definitely help you understand the formula uh, for the uh, so probability. I'm going to give you uh, so a lot. Of a lot of uh, so typical, uh, so typical, uh, so probability problem, uh, so typical uh, probability, uh, so probability problem. Uh, so try to fully understand uh, those uh, typical problems because what well, as uh, you can use uh, those problems as a reference uh, here to solve uh, the new problem. That's why this is something definitely super super important. Uh, so first, the typical uh, so probability problem I'm going to talk about is nothing but uh, so dice problem. Uh, this is a very, very standard problem. Uh, so definitely you need to try to uh, so fully understand uh, so every single uh, so example uh, so I put down here. Uh, so let's see. Uh, so sigma, uh, so we have uh, so two uh, so dice. Uh, we have two dice are rolled. Uh, so two dice are rolled. Let's try to figure what are the probability the sum of two numbers equals a uh, four. Uh, let's try to solve the first one. Uh, so what are the probability a uh, sum is equals a uh, four? Uh, so first one, nothing but try to figure a total of equally likely outcomes. Then give us what? This nothing but try to solve the following problem. If you uh, so if you roll a pair of dice, uh, so how many uh, so total outcomes are there? It's very clear. This nothing but a multi-step process. Uh, so six but first step we have uh, six numbers. Uh, so second step we have also six numbers. Uh, we need to multiply together because what? Because this is a multi-step process. We need two numbers we need two numbers if you get only one number that is just one step that's why this is a multi-step process if you get it here it's very clear uh, total is nothing but of course a uh, six and a multiple is six that give a total 36 outcomes 
Uh, so next one, let's try to figure minimal condition. Uh, so because this is a very standard problem, I'm going to show you how to figure minimal condition. Uh, so for this type of uh, so problem, uh, let's try to uh, put down a few uh, so very, very common way uh, trying to figure meet my condition. Uh, so first one, definitely is you can check uh, one by one. Uh, so basically check uh, so one and by one. Uh, so for example here, we have total uh, 36 outcomes. Uh, so you can check one by one and see if see if it's minimal condition or not. If a minimal condition, that is one answer. Of course, continue check uh, so everything. Uh, so of course, all together, that give us number of minimal condition. That is our uh, first very, very common idea uh, for this type of problem. Of course, particular, if you solve problem, uh, so number has no clear pattern. For this one, uh, so number is very clear. That's about one, two, three, four, five, six. The pattern is very clear. But sometimes you deal with problem, uh, so has number, has has no clear pattern. Uh, so in that situation, maybe the best way is let's see, but check one by one. Uh, so I'm going to quickly show you how to solve this one by checking one by one. Uh, when you check one by one, uh, so never try to pair uh, so all those uh, so two numbers together, uh, generate uh, 36 pairs. Uh, that's a lot of work. The best way to try to figure, uh, so try to figure, uh, so each number could be what? Of course, first number could be nothing but one, two, uh, three, four, and uh, five, and uh, six. Of course, next one, uh, so could be uh, so one, two, uh, three, four, and uh, five, six. We need uh, two numbers. We need two numbers. Uh, so sigma, uh, first number could be one, two, six. Uh, second number uh, could be one, two, six. Uh, so next one, of course, always try to pair up when you check one by one. Uh, for example, uh, so for example, one, 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 two, one, three, one, four, one, five, one, six, and it continue. Uh, so could it give us total 36 outcomes if you try to pair up when you check? Uh, let's see. Uh, so I want to solve this one by uh, checking as uh, so one by one. Sum equals uh, four. Of course, if you check first one is one, definitely one plus one, no. Of course, one plus two and no. One plus three, yes. And uh, one plus four, clearly, uh, so no. That means one definitely we find one way. Uh, so how about two? It's very clear. Uh, so two one no, two two yes. Of course, two three no, and uh, two uh, so three above definitely no. That means one definitely. If the first number is two, we have one way. Uh, so same thing uh, for the three. Uh, definitely three one uh, works. Of course, three two all oh, above definitely. Uh, definitely that doesn't work anymore. Uh, so how about four? Of course, plus any number definitely is, uh, so must be greater. Uh, greater equals uh, equals five. Uh, so no way uh, to get uh, get uh, get a four. Uh, same thing for five and a six. That means what? We have only three ways of minimal condition. That give us what? That give us a minimal condition and less plus three. Uh, so simplify less but one over uh, twelve. That is answer. Uh, for this problem, uh, so make sure you understand. Uh, so first, common way try to figure minimal condition. Let's see, but check one by one. Let's try to figure. Uh, so what are the probability? Uh, so what are the probability? Uh, so first number is greater than the second number. Uh, so first number is greater than the second number. Uh, so we know total a nasi plus 36, that is uh, super, super clear. Uh, so the question is how to figure minimal condition. Uh, for minimal condition, uh, so I'm going to still uh, try to solve this one uh, so by checking as uh, one by one. Uh, so first number, of course, could be as uh, so one, two, three, uh, four, uh, five, and uh, six. Uh, so next number could be one, two, three, uh, four, uh, five, and uh, six. Uh, so first number uh, greater than the second number. Uh, so if first number equals one, uh, clearly, uh, so, uh, so no uh, so no outcomes mean by condition. Uh, so how about first number equals uh, two? Uh, two greater than one, uh, then only one way, of course, here is one. Uh, how about uh, first number is three? Clear is three, one, three, two, uh, works. Now it's very clear. The pattern is nothing but one plus three plus a four and a plus a five. That should give us a minimal condition. Uh, so of course, minimal condition, that's about one plus two plus three plus four plus Five that give us a total is a fifty. Uh, so simplify divided by three divided by three that give us about five over. Uh, so five over twelve. Uh, so that is uh, so one way uh, to solve uh, this one. Uh, one way to solve this one. Uh, so actually, it's, uh, so definitely is you need to understand, uh, so understand, uh, so another way uh, to solve this one, uh, to figure the minimal condition. Uh, so another one is what? It's super, super common is what? Uh, so you don't need to check one by one. Uh, basically, try to construct, uh, so construct a uh, solution. Actually, this is a great idea if you see the number has clear pattern. Uh, for, uh, for example, uh, in our last example, uh, so let's try to figure how many uh, so minimal conditions uh, space around. Sum together equals uh, four. If we check one by one, we figure answer is nothing plus three. Let's try to solve this one by uh, so construct our solution. 
uh, space of two number add together, uh, so two die number add together equals four. It's very clear, equals what? One, three, uh, two, two, and uh, three, one. We figure out three uh, super, super easily. Uh, so that's why sometimes stuff like this you need at least a cultural solution could be a much, much better way than uh, checking one by one. Uh, so but how about this one? Can we solve this one by a uh, cultural solution? Definitely we can do this. Uh, for example, the uh, first number is greater than, uh, so sequel. Uh, so if first number one, uh, so definitely, uh, so we, we have no outcome. Uh, so how about first number two? Of course, could be two, one, and it's definitely okay. Uh, so how about three? Of course, three, one. Uh, so uh, three, one is one. Of course, how about another one? Is is as three two is another one. Uh, so now pattern is very clear. Uh, so four one, of course, a uh, four two, and then of course another one is a uh, four three. Definitely give us three. Uh, so continue. It's very clear. Next one plus two, a uh, plus three. If the uh, first number five, of course we end with four. Uh, so if a uh, first number is a uh, six, we end with five. Uh, still a one plus two plus three plus four plus five. We end with nothing but fifteen minimum credits. That give us financial is nothing but five over twelve. Uh, so definitely is unique. Uh, so understand uh, so this is a great idea to solve uh, this kind of problem uh, so another one uh, so what are the probability uh, sum equals uh, even uh, sum is even uh, so still total in nothing but 36 uh, that is a uh, super super easy to understand the question is how to figure out uh, so number of outcomes minimum condition which we end up with an uh, even sum uh, so definitely you can uh, solve, uh, so check one by one. Definitely you can solve this one by a uh, constructing solution, but either one is not the best idea. Uh, for this type of problem, uh, so talk about even and odd. The best way is definitely is you want to use a uh, so parity property, uh, so use a uh, parity as uh, property, uh, try to quickly figure the answer. Uh, in order to get an even sum, definitely we have only two case work. It's nothing but even number plus an even number, on number and a plus on number. Uh, so sigma, uh, so we have only two case work, uh, even and a plus an uh, even. Of course, could be odd and a plus odd. Uh, so nothing else, nothing else. Uh, so even number and a plus even number. Let's see how many ways uh, for this case work. Uh, so we need a first number is even, it's very clear, could it be two, four, and a six. We need a second number is also, uh, so even number, could it be two, four, and a six. A uh, difference you need to understand. This is three at a time, a three, and not a three and a plus a three. Why? Because we need two numbers add together. If you get only one number, that is nothing but one step. Again, uh, so imagine if you try to finish uh, two problems, if you only finish one, that is a step. Because you need fitness uh, two, uh, you need fitness two problems. Uh, so for example, you want to eat uh, two cupcakes. Uh, so if you only finish one, that is nothing but one step. Because you need fitness uh, two, you only finish one, that is nothing but one step. Uh, so similarly here, uh, so we need two numbers. Uh, so first number is even, uh, so that is nothing but one step. Uh, same thing for the second number is even, it's nothing but another step. If you see step a step, you need to try to figure out the number of ways for each step and you multiply together. Uh, so definitely you need to understand this is a multiplication, has nothing to do with this sort of addition or this multiplication. This multiplication here means what? Means this is a multi-step process that clearly give us what? Uh, you know, first case we have nine uh, so of course if you understand this one uh, it's not hard to understand this one is that's about three at times three because what we have three on number uh, in the first step and that's about one uh, three and a five we have uh, three numbers in a second step and that's about one uh, three five of course multiply together and that's about equals nine uh, so finally you need to understand this is not about addition because what because this is a possible way this is another possible way to reach our goal. If you see a way, way, all this sort of answer, answer, of course, you need to use a digit here. Uh, so definitely you need to understand the difference between this multiplication and this addition here. Of course, add together, next but equals 18. Of course, that means what? Minimum condition at 18, that gives us final answer a next but half. So make sure you fully understand this one. Uh, so next one, let's try to figure. Uh, so what are the probability? Uh, so what are the probability? We end up with uh, even. Uh, so even. Uh, so product. Uh, so sigma. Those two numbers multiply together is uh, even. Uh, so let's see how to solve this one. Uh, so clear total is nothing but a total a nothing but. Uh, so still a uh, thirty six. The question is how to figure minimum condition. Uh, definitely you can try. Uh, so check one by one all cultural solution. Uh, so either one is not a good idea at all. The best way for this one is still use the parity as a property. Uh, so sigma two number multiply together is uh, even. Uh, so definitely could be could be even time even even time odd uh, odd time even. 
Uh, so we have three kids who are here. Uh, so now you get an idea. Uh, so in total, we have only uh, so four possible ways uh, so combine the even and the odd, uh, so multiply together. Uh, so that means what? Well, definitely, you will try to solve this one by complementary counting. Uh, so that is uh, definitely another uh, so super, super uh, so important idea. Uh, so complementary, uh, so complementary, uh, so use a complementary counting idea. Uh, so if you can figure the total and you realize there are only a few wrong answers, uh, so definitely you want to try to solve by complementary counting. Again, uh, so we have total four possible uh, uh, so case work here, uh, so three minimum conditions. That means what we have only uh, so one, uh, so not minimum condition. It's much, much easier uh, to, fi uh, to figure one than three. That's why I want to solve this one by complementary counting. Uh, so of course, total in number 36, of course, wrong answer number we end up with odd a product. So in order to get odd product, we have only one case where a nasty bar uh, so our number and in multiple ways our number. Uh, so clearly it's nasty bar a step a step problem. Uh, so we need two numbers. Uh, first one is odd and the second number is also odd. It's very clear. Uh, first number uh, so we have uh, we have three ways a uh, second number we have a uh, three ways of course three times three and nasty bar give us what that is nasty bar give us uh, so uh, so nine uh, wrong answers which is nine other product. Of course, now we are ready to solve this one. It's very clear. Nasiba 36 and a minus 9 and a divided by 36. Of course, final answer a Nasiba 3 over 4. Uh, so make sure you fully understand. Uh, so this one, that is something uh, so super, super important. Uh, so notice we have four uh, so very, very common strategy uh, to figure out minimum condition for this type of problem. Uh, so uh, try to fully understand. Uh, so next one, let's try to figure what the probability as a product is a, is a perfect, is a perfect cube, is a perfect cube. Let's see how to solve, uh, so solve this one. Uh, so again, total in number 36, uh, so that is uh, something uh, so we know uh, super, super well. Uh, so the question is how to figure the minimum condition. Uh, so minimum condition, of course, uh, I just talked about the four ways. Uh, so for this one, maybe the best way is nothing but try to construct solution. Uh, so try to construct uh, so all the possible uh, so perfect cube we might end up with uh, so form uh, so two numbers uh, two die numbers multiplied together uh, so uh, so sigma uh, so uh, so first perfect uh, so our uh, first perfect cube uh, possible is number one uh, so definitely is, uh, could be uh, so possible uh, so next one is a uh, next perfect cube and that's about eight. Uh, so still, uh, so we may end up with uh, so, uh, so a product uh, give us eight. Uh, so next perfect cube and that's about three times three uh, times three and that's about uh, so 27. Uh, uh, so next one is four times four times four is a uh, sixty four. Uh, so clearly larger possible product here. That's about six times six, which is thirty six. No way we end up with a uh, sixty four. That means what? We can only have a uh, three possible as uh, so a perfect cube. Let's try to figure uh, for each one how many ways uh, to get uh, so that number. Uh, so first one, perfect cube equals one. Clearly we have only one way. And that's about as uh, so one uh, times one. Uh, so how about eight? Of course, could it be one times eight? No, no, no. Uh, so that number must be from one to six. Uh, one, eight, definitely that works. Next one, uh, two, uh, four, uh, definitely this works. Uh, so next one, uh, four, two, definitely works. Of course, next one, eight, one, no way. Uh, so that number must be from one to six. Uh, very clear, that's nasty part. Uh, so two, four, uh, of course, another one is uh, four, two. Uh, so that's very clear. Uh, so it's very similar one uh, to finding the factors. Uh, so basically try to figure two numbers, multiple together, equal to the one. The only difference one here, we need to make each number between one and six inclusive. Uh, so how about 27? It's very clear. It's not simple. 1, 27, no. Next one is uh, 3 times 9, no. Of course, next one is uh, 9 times 3, no. Of course, next one, one is uh, 27, one, no. That means what? That place we have nothing here. It's very clear. Uh, so by constructing all the possible answer, we find only three uh, so mid conditions so that give us final answer a nothing but 1 over uh, so 12. That is answer uh, so for this one. Uh, so make sure you fully understand. Sigma, uh, so we have a uh, uh, so we have a uh, uh, so in this way, this is the one, this is the two, and this is the three. Another uh, wheel, uh, so is uh, so in this one, uh, so we have a uh, three, uh, so four and uh, five and uh, six. And I try to uh, solve uh, the following uh, so problem. I try to get a number from the first wheel, uh, get a number uh, from the sixth one. What are the probability we end up with are uh, even, uh, so we end up with uh, even product. Let's see how to solve this one. 
Uh, so that phrase, you need to get a total outcomes. Uh, so total outcomes looks like a nasiba. Uh, so we have a uh, three here in the first step. We have three uh, inner sickness that looks like a total outcome nasiba is three times three. That's where three times three is totally wrong, uh, totally wrong. Uh, so what is wrong? Because what? Well, because clearly, uh, so uh, those three numbers are not equally likely. This one has a more area than this one. Look at it, a uh, track the area. It's very clear. Uh, this part is uh, so bigger than this one in terms of area. Of course, those two are same. Let me this one. They are not equally likely. Uh, so the phrase you need make equally likely uh, so before you solve this one. Uh, so it's super, super easy. All we try to divide this one uh, so into uh, four equal uh, so area section. Now, of course, and that's about one, two, three, and uh, another three. That tells us what? The first time we have uh, so four is, of course, next time it's very clear. That's about three equally likely. Uh, so numbers there, that means what? Total, that's about four uh, times three. It's not as three uh, times three. Uh, so even product, uh, so definitely think about the parity. Uh, so even product, uh, definitely you think about a complementary counting. Uh, so because we can either figure a total and that's about 12, and then minus wrong answer. Wrong answer is that's about odd product. In order to figure out the odd product, we have only as uh, one case work, which is an odd number and a times odd number. Uh, so definitely you sigma, a uh, total a nasi bar 12, and a minus wrong answer. Wrong answer, we end up with nasi bar uh, odd a product. Let's try to figure out. Uh, so how many ways we end up with odd product? It's very clear. A nasi bar gives us one odd number in the first step, and multiple ways odd number in the uh, second step. Uh, so definitely you need to get this point. First number is odd, of course, how many ways? Of course, could it be one, uh, three, and uh, three. Uh, so we have uh, three, uh, three ways, uh, so in the first step. Uh, so that means for our first step, we have three ways. Uh, so how about sigma? It's very clear. Uh, we have only as uh, one way, as we said five, uh, so minimum condition, we have only one way. Now give us what? Second step, we have one way. Of course, multiply together is nothing but three. Uh, so make sure you understand it's nothing but three times one, because this is what? This is a multi-step process. We need uh, two numbers. Our first number is odd, and also the second number is odd. If you get only one number, that is nothing but one step. Now it's very clear, nothing but step a step. Uh, so first step, of course, we have uh, three ways. Uh, so second step, we have one ways. Multiply together, that give us one. We have three ways, which give us a wrong answer. Uh, that means what? This one is a uh, three. That give us, of course, nine over, uh, so 12. Uh, so of course, uh, we don't try to simplify. Of course, the end of this answer is nothing but, uh, so it's three uh, so over four. That is answer uh, for this one. Uh, so make sure you fully understand. Uh, so for this type of problem, definitely you need to understand. There's a nothing but, a nothing but, uh, so two, counting problems. Uh, so try to get that direction. Definitely help you solve this type of problem. Uh, so, uh, so for example, uh, so we want to flip a coin five uh, times. Uh, so what are the probability we get exactly uh, so four uh, tails? Uh, so simple flip coin. Uh, so five times exactly as uh, so what are the probability we end up with uh, four tails. Uh, so four tails exactly. Let's see how to solve this one. Okay, there's a nice about two counting problem. If you identify those two counting problems, of course, you can easily figure out the counting problem and figure out the probability. Uh, so first, a total a nice about, uh, so this problem. If you flip coin five times, how many possible outcomes are there? This is nice power, total outcome. It's very good, nice about two to the fifth power. Uh, so think about this, that's about a multi-step process. Of course, we need a flip uh, five times, a uh, flip five times. That means what? It's flip, and that's about one step. Uh, so it's flip, we have two ways. That's why that's about two, uh, time two, time two, time two, and uh, time two. That gives us that's about two to the uh, so fifth power. Uh, so next one, we try to figure the minimum condition. Minimum condition, that's about the falling problem. If you flip coin uh, five times, how many ways you will end up with a four tails exactly? That's a very, very typical uh, so counting problem we deal with. And that's about five uh, C4. And that's about five uh, C4. Uh, so make sure you understand this is uh, that's about five C4. Two multiple ways of uh, five C1. Of course, we know uh, so five C4 uh, and uh, that's about five C1. Uh, five C1 and uh, that's about five. Of course, bottom number and uh, that's about uh, so 32. That means the probability and that's about 5 over, uh, so it's 32. Uh, so notice when we solve this one, we treat this one as nothing but two counting problems. Uh, so from there, you can easily figure out the answer. Uh, so sigma, we have uh, four boys and uh, three girls. We want to select two, uh, so at random. Uh, so what are the probability? Uh, so including one boy and one girl. Uh, so sigma, 
Uh, so in a room, uh, so four boys as three girls. We want to slag a uh, two. Uh, so slag two. Uh, so add a random as uh, so water the probability, including as uh, so one boy, a uh, one girl. Let's see how to solve this one. Uh, so definitely, this nothing but two uh, counting problems. Uh, first one, a nothing but. Uh, so if we have uh, four boys and uh, three girls, uh, we want to select two people. Uh, so how many ways are possible? It's very clear. Nasi ba, uh, so all together. Uh, so boy, girls, all together. And then C2, that give us nasi ba, uh, so total outcome. That give us uh, several C2. Uh, so next one, try to figure the minimum condition. A nasi ba, the following uh, so county problem. We have four boys and uh, three girls. We want to select two, including one boy and one girl. How many ways are possible? Clear this nasi ba, our standard, uh, so typical, uh, so count. Problem. And that's about 4C1 and multiple ways are 3C1. They like give us 4C1 and multiple ways are 3C1. And I quickly evaluate this one. A number C1, and that's about that number. I've got 4 times 3, and that's about 12. Uh, so 7 C2, and that's about 7 P2, and it divided by 2 factorial. Uh, 7 P2, that's about 7 times 6. I've got divided by 2 factorial, and that's about divided by 2. I've got a uh, simplified, that give us about 21. Uh, divided by 3, divided by 3, that give us financial, and that's about 4 over 7. Uh, so that is answer uh, for this one. Uh, so notice when we solve this problem, uh, still we treat this one nothing but uh, two counting problems. Uh, so definitely you need to get used to uh, this idea. Uh, so try to convert this probability uh, to two counting problems. Uh, so figure the answer for each one. The ratio is nothing but a probability. <laughs>